Hello friends, my name is Parish and if you're using Dynamics 365 and wondering how you can keep track of all the changes that anybody does on a particular field, let's say of a particular form, well then wonder no more because that's what we are going to discuss in this video. By the way, hit the subscribe button, hit it right now. So Dynamics 365 has a feature called auditing, which you need to configure. Uh, with auditing configured, you can keep track of all the changes that anybody is doing on a particular field, on a particular form. Uh, let's say if somebody is updating a value of a field, then you will know what was the old value, what is the new value, who changed it, and when it was changed. Now, this is something that you need to enable and configure in Dynamics 365. But what are the operations that can be um, that can be audited using the auditing function? Now you will be able to track when a record is created, uh, updated, or deleted. Um, any changes to the shared privileges of a record will have an audit trail. You will be able to audit whenever there is a many-to-many -many association or even dissociation of records. In case there are any changes to the security rules, you will be able to audit that as well. Now you can even track if someone has deleted the audit log as well. You can also audit date and time when a user accesses Dynamics 365, for how long and for what client. So with auditing um, option enabled and configured, you can track all of these. Now an important thing to consider is that you should not enable auditing for everything because once you start doing it, the system starts creating logs. And when there are a lot of logs available for a particular entity, the application performance may go down. Now, you need to make sure that you enable auditing only for the entities and fields that you want to keep track of. Otherwise, you might face performance issues later. Now, what are the steps involved to enable auditing in Dynamics 365? First, you need to enable auditing on the organization level. Then you need to enable auditing at the entity level, which can be individual or using areas, and then enable auditing for fields within the entities. So organization, entity, and fields. These are the three things that you need to take care of. Now, let's have a look on how that works. If you remember, we said that you have to enable auditing at three levels. One is organization level, entity level, and then the field level. So to enable uh, auditing at the organization level, you have to do settings, click on administration, under administration, click on system settings. And when the system setting window opens, you'll see that there's a tab called auditing over here. So you can click on that. And over here um, is the place where you configure auditing at the organization level. So if you just select start auditing over here, you have to select that. And then basically the auditing is on for your organization. Now, similarly, you can select and you will also notice that once you've selected start auditing, the rest of the options are now available. That means you can also enable auditing for user access, which means um, you can track those users who log into the system, check the records for how long, et cetera, et cetera. Similarly, you can also select start read auditing. And then there are some areas that you can uh, enable as well. For example, common entities, sale entities, sales entities, marketing entities, and customer service entities. Now, if you want to know more on what they do uh, or what, what all areas are affected by them, you just have to hover your mouse over those areas and it will list down all the entities which are associated and what is the current status of uh, auditing in those entities. For example, over here you can see that the account is enabled, contact is disabled, so on and so forth. So once this is done, uh, we can click on OK. And now the second step is that we have to enable auditing at the entity level. So let's take an example, accounts. So you can click on settings and now click on customizations. On the customization, click on customize the system. And over here uh, on the entities, 
uh, let's select account and as soon as we select that the, the properties window of the accounts will open and in this property window you will see that there's an option called auditing uh, for that entity so you have to enable that so as you can see I've already selected that I can also disable it and choose to enable it as well so by default um, all the fields for this entities are enabled for auditing once you select that so you have to make sure that you choose the field um, under the fields tab uh, to either enable it or to disable it and it's very important as we mentioned earlier that you enable only those fields which are required for which you want to track basically uh, otherwise it will generate all sorts of logs for um, all the fields which is not the correct way so once this is done uh, you have to click on publish because if you do not publish the changes will not take an effect once the customization is published we we'll, can go to the fields or actually you can do the publish at the very end once you have done everything now under accounts you can select fields and this will list down all the fields which are available over there and you can actually go um, let's say account number you can actually go to individual field and choose to enable or disable the auditing option but if you have to uh, enable or disable um, auditing option uh, for more than one record uh, the best way would be to select those records or let's say I, I need to select all the fields on this page I don't want the editing option to be enabled on those so I can select all those and click on edit this will um, show all the common uh, properties which are available across the fields and one of them is either to enable auditing or disable so I will say I just want to disable uh, all those fields because I don't want I just want a, a particular field that has to be uh, tracked so let's just disable it and click on save and it will disable all the um, all the fields which are selected so once you have um, saved all the changes uh, you can publish all customizations once the changes are published um, now let's close this and let's go to sales and open accounts and basically um, open any account over here and let's say we uh, change the phone number over here for this account just to see um, if the auditing tracks the changes or not so let's just make it two over here and save the record So since I have done the modification, uh, the audit trail should tell me that there has been a change. So basically go to the menu for this record and click on audit history. And here you will see, you know, uh, basically a trail of all the changes that have taken place. So um, today over here, we have updated this um, record and it says, uh, this field main phone was changed the old value was this one and the new value was this one and it was changed by the user and the change date and the event which was an update of course now this is the audit history of a particular record now what what if you want to check um, the audit trail for everything that has been happening in the system so for that if you want a detailed summary you need to uh, go to settings and you need to click on auditing now basically this is a dashboard for all the auditing related tasks so if we, over here you can click on audit summary view to actually have a detail of uh, what has been going on in the system uh, so you can have a bird's eye view and if you go back to auditing section again uh, there are other options such as global auditing uh, audit settings if you click on this uh, you will go to your system settings where you can um, change or modify the auditing settings for your organization and then if you click on entity and field audit settings it will take you to the solution design where you can actually 
uh, select your entities um, and the field under those entities and configure the audit settings then management so if there are undesired logs which are available over there you can just go into the management and you can choose to delete those unwanted logs so that's all about auditing in dynamics 365 i hope this video helps why don't you go ahead and try it out for yourself if you like this video give it a big thumbs up share your comments and do subscribe to the channel tech dynamics Bye-bye.